It's day two of a uh, gym session for the week. Uh, it's, been, it's been a little bit challenging with my knee uh, that I hurt a few weeks ago, just trying to get back into things. Uh, I just don't have the range, the full range that I have in my, in my good leg, in my bad leg. So I um, just have to limit a lot of the rebounding exercises like the plyos and um, the depth in some of my exercises like uh, squats that I've had to limit a little bit. But um, overall, everything's traveling okay. Um, and the more that I, and the longer that I've kind of been on the um, on the World Cup circuit, the more I'm really noticing that it's everyone's got injuries of some sort or some sort of niggles, and it's really who deals with these, uh, you know, these niggles, these injuries, these setbacks, adversities, the best that really come out on top and and still manage to perform. So um, just keeping my focus on what I can control, the things that I can do, and making sure that I'm doing them really well, and then making sure I'm really focusing on my recovery for my knee really well. Um, and I'm sure I'll be doing everything back to 100% in a very short time. But everything traveling good so far. Apart from my cold, my voice sounds terrible. Still icing my knee after every session. Hey, how you doing? <laughs> how was your sprints? <laughs> I don't know, they felt pretty good, but my times are like a bit <clears throat> up a little. Why? I don't know. It's like, I like it used to get so down on like the each day, like squats are bad, sprints are bad. Oh, this is bad, this is bad too. And it's like, oh, everything's bad. And like, especially when you're trying to do, like my only job is to go fast on a BMX bike. I don't have any other jobs right now. That's my only job. When I feel like I'm not doing that job very well, I'll get pretty down on myself. But that's, I think, like, like these up and downs kind of happen for everyone. And it's like really believing in that, in that long-term process when things aren't going so well. Um, I've kind of learned to be able to do that over the last like, five years. It's only taken five years. <laughs> yeah, so it wasn't the best session, but I'm feeling pretty good. Looking forward to a rest day tomorrow though. How do you deal with those types of bad sessions? How do I deal with them? Yeah. Well, it, it's, well, good or bad is all about perception, right? Like I could, I could feel like I had a really bad session, but my times could be good. So is that a good session? Or vice versa, it could feel really good, but maybe you were just tired that day, or didn't sleep very well the day before, and then your times are slow. Does that make it a bad session? Like, so, for me, it's like, I don't, I try not to look at the, like the times or like, try not to get too caught up in how much I lifted or whatever, I'm still learning how to do that. But, um, but just focus on doing my best on the day. Did I lift that squat or deadlift to the best form and, um, you know, to the best speed possible? Or did I do that sprint with intent and was I focusing on the pedal strokes and stuff? That's more important than times. And if the times are good, then that's great. But if I can judge myself more on the effort that I gave on the day, uh, I find that I can deal with the bad or the worse, the worse the days, the not so good days better. All right, that's a wrap for the first two weeks of training. It's been good. Um, obviously a little bit frustrating with the knee, not being able to do everything how I want to do it, but uh, I'm just happy to be back into a good routine of training really glad that I've had the patience not to push my knee too hard. Um, it's, yeah, slowly but surely getting better and, you know, maybe a couple of things that I haven't been able to do in terms of training, but uh, generally everything's been, yeah, on track and, and progressing. So really happy. Great camp at Bathurst on the weekend. Um, looking forward to more training coming up leading into the big World Cups at home. Thanks for tuning in.